Hello, I'm Marek Molarczyk from SAI Training at the game one of the UK's leading specialists in Adobe Certified Training. And welcome to another episode of Photoshop Lightroom TV, your video podcast about anything Photoshop and Lightroom. In this episode, I'll be talking about the new feature in Photoshop CC 2015.5. Something that's been requested by many people. I have been asked that quite a lot. If you have text on the page, how do you know what font they used? Like this image here. What we have here is just a JPEG. Flat JPEG, no layers with text. And so how do we know what text they used? Well, we wouldn't, but we can do now in Photoshop CC 2015.5 is we can have Photoshop find a very similar looking font on either on your system or in Typekit as well. So let's see how this works. So first you make a selection. So I'm going to use a rectangular marquee tool. And I'll select this text find pics here. go and I go to type menu and then match font now Photoshop will look for any fonts that match it on your system so it's found two on mine in here and it's also looking for typekit if it's a font that you have on your system already you can just click on it to select it okay for example this one here and this will be selected in your control panel in your options bar for the text okay so if I click, so say Tecton Pro Bold, for example, I don't think it's similar, but I've got this machine rounded regular actually in here. So I can try this one. So I'll click OK for now. I'll switch to text tool. The font is already selected. OK. So add some text frame underneath here and type the same text, find pics. That's a little bit too big. So I'll make it a little bit smaller. Okay. So it's kind of quite similar it's not too bad actually okay now here's another thing we can do with this new match font feature in Photoshop I'm going to add a new text layer I'm going to try to find the font for this travel compact so I'm going to create a new text layer here and I'll type the text travel compact okay I'm going to switch to a normal font for now so like Arial will do uh, this is a little bit too big, so maybe 22. That's fine. Move it down a little bit. Okay. Now the text layer is selected. I'll make a selection of this original text with rectangular marquee tool once again. Rectangular marquee tool because all we need is just a selection around the text. And because the text is rectangular in a shape, rectangular marquee tool will be just fine. So create a selection here. Of the text, and with the travel with the text I've selected, well, the text I've typed in, this text layer is still selected. I'm still in this travel compact layer, okay. Even though I'm making selection on the background on the original image. So now, when we go to type menu and then match font, what's going to happen is Photoshop will look for fonts again as usual, okay. We can also refine a selection to improve the results, but I'm happy with the results. There's quite a few here already. But here's something really interesting. Because we have a text layer selected, now when we're selecting the fonts, at least the ones on your system, Photoshop will actually alter fonts in here. So this one, okay, quite similar. Let's try some others. These seem to be much smaller. This one's quite okay, quite similar. Brovalia regular. Let's try this one as well. Okay. Let's say I like this one, for example. So I've already selected. It's already updated the font in here. Okay, I've got a font size as well. We can change it right now, so I'm going to click OK. And I'll switch back to text tool. And I'll make it a little bit bigger. Be actually quite bigger. OK. And it's the text that's quite similar to the original. I'm going to deselect that. Select, deselect. Okay. If you, if I just go back one step. If you want to use a font from Typekit, so my match font, say if I want to use this font here, this would have to be downloaded first. But you can just click on this little cloud icon. This will be downloaded. So say if I pick this one, for example, I'm going to click on it. It's going to sync. It's syncing to Photoshop. And in just a moment, when it's synced, will you be able to use it 
back here inside of Photoshop. Okay, it seems to be in sync. So click OK, Shrub regular. Now go back here. We can quickly do a search for TypeKit fonts. It's still syncing. So give it a moment. I'm going to take it off for now. I've opened Critic Flout app just so you can see what happens once the font syncs. You don't have to, but if you go to Creative Cloud app into the assets and fonts, you have the font in here synced. Okay, so now they're synced. I'm going to close that. I'll click OK for now. And the text layer is still selected. You can go in there, do a quick search, and just select the font that we've just synced. I'm not even clicking on them, I'm just moving the cursor over to see how they update. Okay, to so say this one for example. And this would need to be a bit smaller. It's a bit too big. Not the same font, but just to show you how you can sync fonts from TypeKit as well. I hope you enjoyed it. Thank you for watching. I'm Marek Mulacic from SAI Training at Code UK. And this was Photoshop Lightroom TV, your video podcast about anything Photoshop and Lightroom. Thank you for watching. See you soon. Thank you.